Hi viewers, today we have a Vanna time switch and the type is an ERD1 BP80-2 rated at 80 ampere and 2 ampere for an inductive load for a switch to a uh, time clock a very well made meter never been used before, the meter was um, distributed by GSJ Niven & Co in uh, Auckland, Wellington or Christchurch in Dunedin in New Zealand and um, there's no serial number or property name on the meter itself I will open the cover to reveal the details a bit better the serial number of this particular clock is LV3919. The winding motor is rated between 200 and 250 volts 50 hertz. No owner's number has been put into it. The statement is visible. There's a little dust cover which can be closed and opened. So. And well, the minute indication is visible from the outside as well. And also is the current rating 80 amps resistive, 2 amps inductive on the small switch. The meter is 9. As mentioned by Boombox Deluxe and uh, Larry HXDXFH, uh, there's a big earthing terminal at the bottom of the time switch, which is uh, supposed to be connected to the ground. And that basically goes on the back of the clock where it's screwed through the backlight base and touches the metal of the inside. Here I've taken the outside cover off. This is the overview of the whole clock. Here's an indicator for the minutes. And this is a motor run indicator. That's a synchronous motor. It looks like a 250 width. A uh, synchronous motor. Escapement, which appears to have a type of thermal release when the synchronous motor stops uh, by means of a bimetallic strip. The tiny um, little contact around here that is a bimetallic strip. So when I turn the clock off. The escapement gets released by the metallic strip going back to its normal position. Click. That uh, self test is done every uh, 12 hours. Another eccentric on the 12 hour spindle which shorts out the thermal strip for the release, that's the eccentric part, the white thing, and uh, it releases the mechanism while the clock is in normal running operation. That's the ratchet for the spring, and the big spring drum is uh, at the base, base, lower area of the mechanism. The eccentric for winding is on the fourth gear wheel from the motor, that got an eccentric, which drives by means of a pole. Um, Which is the wheel. It's also done by uh, Larry and Boombox Deluxe. The meter or the clock can be wound up by means of a spring. It's always interesting to note that English clocks seem to have a left hand rotation, whether it's for the winding arbor or for the actual 24 hour dial, is in a comparison with European clocks which turn normally clockwise and turn the other way. The contacts are very well made of this meter. Uh, main contact is 80 ampere resistive and a 2 amp contact um, adjacent to it for a uh, time clock or a uh, uh, 2 rate meter. Main 80 amp contact. Not much of a gap between it, and there's a 2 amp micro switch sitting there. 
It's just uh, four tails change over. mechanism view. That contacts that's layout in the base line in let's put a diagram. Look so the way contact makes on this particular terminal which sits here on the side of the base I said before this Vena clock is very well made but as a sign of the times they have used some nylon components the high speed gear wheels are made from nylon or some type of plastic as in the older type clocks they usually the high speed gears were made from fiber On the center arm, but this is a type of clutch. Which allows you to advance the dial to the correct time position. This vendor is a well made piece of equipment. And will go for many years. Thanks for watching.